Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and welcome to the next lesson of your free digital marketing course. In this lesson, I want to talk about landing pages. So first, let us look at how do we define a landing page. So landing page is basically a single page website which is different from normal websites that you see on the internet. You might have been on a landing page yourself, you might not have realized it, but plenty of websites use landing pages. Landing pages is something that digital marketers use, not everyone uses. According to Wikipedia, landing page is a single web page that appears in response to a particular link click. And more often than not, landing pages are used for lead generation. Sometimes it is used for conversion also as a sales page. And basically what's most important here is the conversion rate. In normal websites, there are too many links, too many pages. And usually the conversion rate on a normal website is not as high as possible and the high conversion rate is uh, achieved only using landing pages. So I use landing pages for my own business, Digital Deepak. I will also show you some examples of landing pages that other websites use in basically in advertisements. And I will also show you a tool where you can go ahead, create landing pages and even edit landing pages. In general, when you look at websites and blogs, they are information oriented. So you go to a website to consume information. Landing pages are focused to get users to take an action. So it could be something like generating a lead, the user the visitor could become a lead by filling a form or it could be purchase of a product. So if you are selling a product, you could put it on a landing page, provide all the information that you would need to give to the user. And uh, since landing pages are action oriented, you are only expecting one action as a result of a particular landing page. In a website or blog, there are multiple actions that people can take. They can visit other pages, they can subscribe to your blog, they can comment on your blog, or they can just you know browse through the website and see what the information is. A landing page is either focused on getting the visitor to become a lead or getting the visitor to become a buying customer. So that is the only goal of having a landing page. And usually the effectiveness of landing page is measured by looking at the conversion rate which I will show you and also one more thing so landing pages usually have to match the kind of ad that you are providing so companies who don't have digital marketers or who don't know digital marketing go ahead and advertise just the home page of their website and usually they complain that the ads are not working because the conversions are not coming so uh, to make the ads more effective what people usually do is that they match the landing page to the content of the ad so that there is a consistent user experience. So if a visitor is coming to a, a search engine ad, uh, looking at a search engine ad, he is reading something and he is clicking on it, then he expects to find the same information that is on the ad on the landing page as well. So there has to be a match. So I will show you a few examples for it and then it will become very clear. So here I am in Google search and here you can see that I have searched for lead generation tools and you can see a lot of ads here. Let's click on one of the ads. Let's click on Zoho SAD. So here zoho.com slash lead management. So here you can see that the ad is actually resulting in a landing page, not the homepage of Zoho. So here it is zoho.com slash CRM slash lead management because we searched for lead generation tools and the ad was related to lead management. So it is actually leading us to an internal page where you can see that it's a separate landing page for lead management. Here you can still see some navigation links. Uh, many people do not recommend navigation links because users get distracted. But it's a bit subjective based on the type of company that is creating the landing page. So one more thing I want to show you is that let's go ahead and search for something like cloud telephony. And Exotel is a provider of cloud telephony. You can see that there is an ad for Exotel here. And again, it does not lead to Exotel's homepage. It goes to an internal page in Exotel and here in the internal page you can see that it's a separate landing page and in this landing page they have information just about cloud telephony and even though their product is the same for any keyword that you search for here people are looking for the keyword cloud telephony so in the heading they have put clearly the cloud telephony platform that is simple powerful and reliable right so this is how it works, um, the landing pages. I will go ahead and show you one landing page that I use for myself, which is learndigitalmarketing.com. 
so here is where i generate leads for my free digital marketing course so that i can get more subscribers for my blog and eventually more customers for my paid courses so i drive traffic to this landing page using facebook ads right now uh, facebook ads is the primary channel which drives traffic for this landing page and here you can see that the only action that i want out of the user who visits the landing page is for them to subscribe for um, the free course by giving their name and email id so here the action is getting them to give their name and email id nothing else and here you can see this is all the information that there is there are no navigation links for users to get distracted and there is basically you know nothing else apart from um, nothing else that a user can do apart from sign up for my free digital marketing course so landing pages um, to create landing pages you need a designer and you need a front end developer in your company uh, which actually is the case in most of the bigger companies like for example when i was working at tracer pay there was a designer who used to design the landing page first and then there used to be a front end developer who will convert the landing page into a page which is available on browsers and for browsing but it also consumes a lot of time and resources and it's usually costly to have a full-time designer and full-time front-end developer in your organization so that is why freelancers or you know businessmen like me we go ahead and use a tool called unbounce.com so there are many landing page creation tools so i will show you unbounce.com So Unbounce.com is a drag and drop landing page creator and it's a SaaS product. So the pricing of Unbounce starts at $99 a month. If you look at the monthly plan, the essential plan is $99 a month and this is uh, what I use for my, uh, creating my landing pages. So I will show you inside my Unbounce account. So this is inside my Unbounce account and here you can see LDM Evergreen page is the landing page of Learn Digital Marketing. So here I reset the stats recently. Uh, so since yesterday I have got 82 conversions from the traffic and you can see 207 visitors and 82 conversions. The total conversion rate is 39.61%. So this kind of conversion ratio you will not get in a website. You will probably get 5% of visitors or maximum 10% of visitors giving you their name and email id if subscription is the goal but if you have a landing page since there is nothing else to do in the landing page usually the visitors to conversion is very high so landing pages are also something where we do constant split testing or a b testing to find out which variant performs better so here i will also show you how to go ahead and create a variant so i will just delete this old variant and this is the variant i have so I will just duplicate this variant and here I will go ahead and click on edit. So one version of the landing page is what you see here. Now I will go ahead and create another version of the landing page and then we will be able to see which landing page gives us a better conversion ratio. So if you can improve the conversion ratio then you will basically get better returns from your advertising spend. So what I will do is that in this particular variant, I will go ahead and remove the testimonials section and I will just show the certificate right after this particular section. Now I can go ahead and click on save and I will go ahead and click on republish. So now it has been republished. I will click on done and I will go ahead and click on overview. Now I can go ahead and uh, put a weightage for this. I would put a weightage of 50% which means that if I get 100 visitors to my landing page which is learndigitalmarketing.com, uh, Unbounce will show 50 visitors the first version of the landing page and another 50 visitors the second version of landing page. I will go ahead and reset the stats as well so that we have a clear data point. So now I have to click on republish page to get both the variants published. So now we have republished the page. We have two variants. I can go ahead and preview the variants if I want. So click on preview variant. And here you can see the variant Q is the first variant which has testimonials, the certificate and an area where they can sign up for my course. And then I have the other variant which is yes variant. 
so on bounds gives a letter for each variant as i keep creating new variants so here you can see there are no testimonials and directly there is this certificate which is being displayed after the uh, area where i am asking for name and email id so now this is what we have so i will probably come here and check after a few days to see which version of the landing page performed better and i will also update the results below this video or in this lesson uh, after i get the results updated results so you can also go ahead and create a new landing page i will show you how to create a new landing page in unbound so basically you click on create a new page unbound has a set of templates which you can go ahead and edit i took an existing template and edited it to my convenience so if i just go ahead and let's say click on lead generation templates you can see many templates which are focused on lead generation i can just go ahead and select one of the lead generation templates here and go ahead and build my landing page let's say i want to build a landing page using this template let's say i would just name it test landing page and start with this template So Unbounce has a builder of its own which is a drag and drop builder and you can go ahead and create landing pages on your own. Uh, so basically edit the text here and you can go ahead and add images if you want, change the text, change the font, uh, drag and drop elements. So if I want to edit this I will just double click on it and I could say learn digital marketing. and this is how it works so so you can you can drag and drop these elements and inside the form if you double click on the form you can configure the form about what the details is being asked for then you can add new images if you want so drag and drop images and then upload your own images here and after everything is done you just go ahead click on save choose the domain where you want to publish and go ahead and just publish it so i have clicked on save and now I can go ahead and click on publish page if I want and go ahead and publish it on any URL that I have configured. So Unbounce lets you add custom domains. Uh, if you go inside domain section, you will see that there are a lot of custom domains you can add. And if you have a domain, basically what you have to do is that just uh, add a record in your domain name to point it to Unbounce and Unbounce will host your landing pages. So here you can see hosting.digitaldeepak.com is also hosted on Unbounce. And if you go ahead and visit this particular URL, you will be able to see the landing page for my web hosting services show up. And this entire landing page is just on Unbounce.com. So here the landing page is not focused on lead generation, but it is focused on sales. So they can click on get started now and if they click start now then it redirects to the payment gateway page so there are also um, i will show you some of the places where you can get unbounce templates so so there is this theme marketplace called theme forest and inside theme forest you will be able to get unbounce landing pages so here is the result so here you can see these are unbounce landing pages and uh, you will be able to get one of these landing pages for a paid amount if you want. So here you can see it's $15 and this is basically a .unbounce file which you can download from Theme Forest and then upload it back to unbounce. So you can see that this is how it looks. If I remove the frame, you can see there are many variants. And you can see that this is hosted on unboundspages.com. So it's very clearly a dot unbounce page. And instead of getting a brand new design done by a designer, you can take one of these templates, put it on unbounce, and then you will be able to save a lot of time and money on designing and hosting your content. And uh, one more thing I forgot to show you is there is a mobile version as well for every landing page. So if I go ahead and check my learndigitalmarketing.com page, you will be able to see that there is a mobile version of it as well. And it can be either switched on or off if you want the mobile version. 
so this is the mobile version and that is also drag and drop editor and it's very easy to create a mobile version so there is really no need to go ahead and create a responsive design uh, which is usually very complex and takes a lot of time so there are a lot of other tools just like unbounce which help you create landing pages one such tool is instapage.com instapage.com allows you to create landing pages just like unbounce and they have a different pricing structure and there are a lot of wordpress themes and tools which help you create landing pages on your own as well but one of the reasons i prefer using a tool like instapage or unbounce is because the integrations are very easy so if you look at my unbounce page i can go ahead and integrate unbounce with mailchimp or aweber directly and whenever someone enters their name and email id in my landing page the data is automatically passed on to my email marketing provider and which basically starts the drip marketing lessons for the subscriber and you can also see that the leads are being stored here uh, you can see i have generated 2600 plus leads with this landing page so far and i can also integrate uh, unbounce using webhooks so using webhooks i will be able to take the data to any email marketing provider or i can even use a certain script to take the data to google sheets so whenever a new uh, submission is done so that is how landing pages work i hope you got a clear idea about what is landing pages uh, what is the purpose of landing pages how do we split test using landing pages and some of the tools which help you create landing pages so thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment below and as i said i will also update the results of this split test experiment in a few days right on this lesson in this page